So how long should it realistically take to heal from an affair? You know, the truth is it varies. It varies because there's a lot of different characteristics that contribute to the speed at which you heal. In my practice, I would say the average is about nine months. Most of the literature says between one and two years to get to a place of mostly healed. I would tell you that, you know, it's very personal and it really does depend on lots of variables like the length of your relationship or marriage, the length of the affair, the number of affairs, the type of the affair, whether or not a child came from the affair, uh, the quality of your relationship connection before the affair and now. So there's a lot of variables that go into healing and I don't want you to beat yourself up if it's taking you a while to heal. You know, many affairs cause something that we call post-infidelity stress disorder, which is like PTSD. You've been through a major trauma and it's not your fault if you're struggling to heal. You may need some extra support. So if you've, you know, done a lot of healing and you're feeling somewhat better, but you find yourself still triggered a lot, having nightmares, having flashbacks, really struggling to get through the day, having any kind of obsessive thinking about the affair, and it's been a year or so, it might be a really good idea for you to look into doing some trauma therapy with a specialist in your area. You can find a trauma therapist um, online, or there's a website for them, and that website is emdria.org. That's just one of them, but that's um, a group of people who specialize in doing EMDR. That's a kind of therapy that's really helpful for trauma. If you can't find that or can't afford it, then one thing you could also do is try a really good um, trauma self-help book. And I have links to those in my bio that you can check out. So I hope that helps you get on the um, right page and helps help you feel better soon. Take good care.